guys and today I have a book haul for you. Now I haven't done one of these videos for what feels like a year. It probably is a year because I haven't, I've just read so much at the beginning of the year and then I've had this big long break where I've been waiting for some books to be released for me to even cope reading again. I've been focusing more on our channel and my sister being away and just coping with that. Yes guys, I am wearing a onesie, it's just so cold right now and I just couldn't think of anything better to wear than cozying up with some books and some candles, so. So, the first book is a colouring book and I don't really colour that much or I don't really do that many arty things anymore but this particular book I was definitely going to purchase. I'm this type of person who when I colour something in I get a little bit frustrated and especially things that are really hard but since this is Harry Potter I was not going to take no for an answer. Now since my sister has one of these she has the um, magical creature ones I think and my best friend has the character one the first one they released well, they released this one, and this one's called Magical Places and Characters, and I wasn't going to get it, but when I found out that this book has, let me show you, Luna in it, I was like, I have to get this colonial book. In the Magical Creatures one, which is what my sister has, it has Thestrals, and... I just, I really, really want to colour that page in. Not only does it have Luna, it has my other favourite character, which is the beloved Snape. You have Dumbledore here, and then there's also Harry there, and the Diagon Alley. Oh my goodness, that would take me forever, but when it's coloured in, it's going to look amazing. And I'll show you what I am currently colouring, but this is like the red orange sky of Hogwarts. So you have the Hogwarts school and the actual photograph. Look at that. I still have yet to colour the, like, the clouds in because the clouds are kind of like a grey on the photograph but I kind of wait until it's done. It looks really good. Next we have a graphic novel and this novel is by Mary Lou and it's called Prodigy. This is the second in the series. I do have the novels. They are my favorite book series ever, if you don't already know that. The first book is called Legend. The second book is called Prodigy, and this is the second graphic novel based on the original Prodigy novel. Here is Legend, and here is Prodigy. I think the third book, Champion, is going to be a graphic novel very soon. I think the cover's been released. If it is, I'll put it on the screen. Character-wise, and the imagination of the novels has really been depicted very well in these and that's what I really love about it. Moving on to paperbacks. The first one being Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Bernard. Now I've had my eye on this paperback for a while and then Zoella put it in her WH Smith book club and I really liked the cover of this compared to the original cover. Don't get me wrong, I'm this kind of person who really likes original covers and hardbacks especially but I really love the contrast of the um, pastel blues and the purples and golds in this so I thought you know what pick it up we have two teens one's called Katie and the other one's called Rosie from what I understand this is just about two best friends find another friend and as they say as my mum always says two's company three's a crowd what I get from this is basically finding that friendship within a, fr a friendship so it's like how can we cope with spreading our love over two other people. And yeah, the, the bottom mark in here is Zoe's face. Next is a book I've been waiting for so long. In fact, I just, I can't remember how long I've waited for this book. This book is by the lovely Jennifer Niven, one of my favorite authors. She wrote da, 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 All the Bright Places. Absolutely, hands down, love that book. When I heard that she was gonna be releasing another book, I was just so excited. This one doesn't sound as appealing as the one before but it has that controversial vibe from what I gathered. It's about two people who come from very different backgrounds. It almost kind of sounds like um, Eleanor and Park 
in a way. You are wanted, you are necessary, you are loved. Everyone thinks they know Libby Stroud, but no one's ever looked past her weight to see who she really is. Since her mum's death, Libby's been hiding, but now she's ready for high school. I want to be the girl who can do anything. Everyone thinks they know Jack Maslin, sexy, aloof, and too cool for school, but Jack's swaggering confidence is hiding a secret he must keep at all costs. Be charming, be hilarious, don't get too close to anyone. Then Jack meets Libby and their worlds change because sometimes when you meet someone the whole universe just comes into focus. I think this is going to be a, the kind of love story that really opens up your heart, your mind. I don't know, it kind of just opens that window that you can make friends and fall in love with anyone no matter what background, what they look like, what you think they might be like. When you fall in love with someone, you discover so many different personalities. You, sometimes when you meet a person, you just see that one kind of blank sheet. Whereas when you get to know them, the longer you get to know them, the more things you find out about them and how much more exciting it is to know them and have them in your life. So that's what I think. On to hardbacks. Stars Above. It's a compilation, I believe, of different... Um, novellas. I still have yet not read this series. It kills me because I've heard so many great things about it and it's just, I know it's going to be right on my street. So this one is by whoop, Marissa Meyer. I've heard so many great things so yeah don't take my word for it because I haven't read it yet. Next we have First Life by Jenna Showalter but this really really caught cool, my interest. The storyline to it sounds really good and look how many reviews are on the back. That's not even a blurb, they're reviews. It's a futuristic world and yes it is a signed edition. Jenna Showalter is known for her White Rabbit Chronicles, is that right? Yeah, the White Rabbit Chronicles which I really want to read. I just feel that if I love this I will then get the White Rabbit Chronicles but this one sounds so good. In fact I will read you a bit of it. So it says I've been told history is written by survivors, but I know that isn't always true. My name is Tenley Lockwood, and very soon I'll be dead. This is my story, but the end is only the beginning. So this is basically a fantasy, I believe. Fantasy slash futuristic world, I think. And real life, like our life now, is basically a practice for the life after death in, in this novel. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but it sounds really interesting. I love this cover, how it's like an hourglass and how this is kind of like the life we're living now and then this is like the paradise. Well, that's what it looks, that looks like hell, that looks like paradise. I have no idea. I'm so chuffed about the fact that it was signed. Let me show you this photograph. There we go, in gold. Beautiful. Next we have is Traveller. This is by Arwen. Elias Dayton and if you've watched one of my previous book hauls or a previous book haul um, I got the first book called Seeker. I did actually read the first chapter I never got into the rest because I didn't read on should I say because that's when I started to read the legend series and I read the first I was reading the first book and I just had to put Seeker down. I was that into it I was like I cannot I cannot I cannot do this. I have to I have to finish this book so I still need to finish Seeker and it's a duology which I'm really happy about because I don't have to get a third book I like duologies I really love duologies trilogies and duologies are my favorite because they're short they get to the point we find out things quicker don't get me wrong I do love all seven Harry Potter books but when it takes so long and so much of my time when I could be reading so many of the books it is kind of a little bit depressing knowing that I've got so many of the books to read but Harry Potter will always be my favourite book series hands down and I love the fact that the covers match I hate it when the covers don't match here is Seeker it's gorgeous I love how the Seeker font is like rainbow and then Traveller they just look so stunning together I noticed with like on the on the Seeker you have like these rams coming off the sword or well, this one has like the two swords going through and it has kind of like a, a fox or a wolf I don't know what it is I'm guessing it's a fox in the middle of it but I love it I love it so much and cover wise it has the swords can you see that yes you can it has the swords on the front cover and on the spine it's stunning that title in gold and bold 
love the fact that it's gold and bold. So talking about Harry Potter, we have the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I have not read this. What's that you saying? I haven't read it. Even though I got it, like one of the videos way back I did, I got it, I showed you that it came through the post, I still haven't read it. Now the main reason I keep putting this off is because I just love the fact that I haven't jumped straight into this like I did with many of my other Harry Potter books. When the latest Harry Potter book came out, I jumped into it, I wanted to get over and done with, I wanted to know everything about it. With this book, I'm putting it off because I'm still in that in between state where I don't know what's going on, I don't know what's happened, I don't know what will happen and I love the fact that everybody knows. <laughs> this is so weird, it's so odd for me because I love to know but this time I'm holding back and I might just, you know, I just want to put it off for a, a bit longer, a little bit longer. I might read one more book and then go straight into this. It's probably come to the point where I'm just like, okay, now I need to know. But I just love I love being in this in-between state where I don't know what's going on and I've just, I know that I've got another Harry Potter book to read in the future. Like, it's never gonna end until I read it and that's why I don't want it to end. It's, oh, ah, I'm so excited to read it. I really, really am. And the fact that Warner Brothers have bought the rights for the film, I'm not really interested in the theatre production. I've heard so many great reviews on it though. The theatre production, the fact that like all the, the chosen actors for it were really really good and the production was really really good I just don't f I'm just, I would go watch it if someone took me or invited me but I still just can't get over the fact that Hermione is black and that's not me being racist it's just when when things are in a book I like them to be so specific I like them to be spot on half the time I know the films are not spot on, but that is a major difference between a white Hermione and a black Hermione. But I do love Hermione. <laughs> Last but not least, a book I have been waiting literally a year. Final book to the Young Elites series. <sighs> I cannot believe it's the end of this series. The Young Elite series is basically about a um, villain. You're following the story through a villain's eyes, which really caught my attention. She goes from hero and heroine in Legend series and such a lovely, fast-paced, heartbreaking but lovable story to then being completely con controversial to that and going into the Young Elites where everyone's got these like powers and there's a disease and there's all these Malfettos. We've got the Young Elites, the second one's called the Rose Society and then this one is the Midnight Star where we get to find out what happens to these characters. If you have not read the Legend series or the Young Elite series, you need to go out and buy them now. They are so, so good. That's the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. If you have any books that you would like to recommend, please put them in the comment section below and I will reply and may even purchase those books. I'm really interested and love finding out new stories that you guys love that I might love. So, yeah. Bye. Whatever. I don't care. Ow, my arm just clicked. Oh my gosh. Okay, going now. Bye.